SpaceX is currently targeting no earlier than the 24th of August for the 10th integrated flight test of Starship and Super Heavy from Starbase, Texas. But what are the changes? Well, here is everything you need to know about Starship Flight 10. Just like with Flight 9, Booster 16 will not attempt to catch. Instead, it will perform a soft splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. This is in order to perform several experiments, which will be focused on engine out scenarios by intentionally shutting down one engine on the center ring and using one from the middle ring to simulate an engine backup. As for Starship's upper stage, Ship 37 will follow a similar just shy of orbit trajectory with a soft splashdown in the Indian Ocean if everything goes well. Starship will attempt to deploy eight Starlink simulators, attempt to perform another in-space relight of a Raptor engine, and will perform several experiments during its re-entry phase. These include stress testing the ship by removing a significant number of tiles and testing some metallic tiles with one also featuring active cooling to test their performance as an alternative material for protecting Starship. Since rollout, some tiles have been placed on both sides of the forward flap similar to SM-15, however, I'm not sure what these are for. To address the methane leaking into the payload bay section that caused Flight 9 to fail, the methane fuel diffuser located in the forward dome has been redesigned to better direct pressurized gas into the methane tank. As you might already know, SpaceX was originally going to use Ship 36 for Flight 10. However, during a planned 6 engine static fire test, damage to one of the composite overwrapped pressure vessels or COPVs in the payload bay led to its eruption and the sequential explosion of the vehicle and damage to some of the surrounding infrastructure at Massey's. SpaceX then modified a transport stand and used it as a mounting adapter to static fire the remaining Block 2 ships on the orbital launch mount at the launch complex. As a fix for this, SpaceX plans to operate these COPVs at a lower pressure, with additional inspections and tests done prior to conducting tests that involve loading propellants into a ship. So, with fixes implemented from Starship Flight 9, do you think that Ship 37 will be the one to redeem Block 2, and will we see Starship finally deploying a payload? Let me know in the comments below. And like always, be sure to like and subscribe for future Starship and Blender content coming in the future. Mm -hmm.